Mark is here, the guy that talks about the practical things in photography, not the flashy things that everybody else talks about. One of those things is, all right, let's say you just shot 100 gigabytes of stuff on your camera and you've got an SD card and you want to put it, the stuff into your computer. So you stick it into one of these SD card readers, stick it in the computer, and what happened to me the other day was I put one in there and it said, 45 minutes to download. I go, 45 minutes? What the hell's going on? Not all card readers are the same. Some of them go quickly and some of them don't. And yes, of course, it matters what uh, read and write speed you have, but I'm using like the two to 300 megabyte per second card, SD card. And by the way, the SD and the micro SD, they kind of load about or download about the same speed. The, the micro SD is just a tiny, tiny bit faster, but they're about the same. Anyway, so, what I do is I take one of these things and I stick it in here and I stick that in the computer and it starts downloading. Normally it takes a couple minutes, but when it says like 20 minutes, that's just ridiculous. Most of them download at about 88 to 89 megabytes per second. The one that I like, this one here, the big one, this one usually downloads around 92 megabytes per second. And this one downloads at 41. This one here downloads at 37 megabytes per second. That's one third the speed of this one. And this one, <laughs> This one here downloads at 19 megabytes per second. That is just ridiculous. So you'd be waiting for hours to download with this thing. This one's about 35. It looks fancy. This is even USB-C, USB 3. This thing still is around 30 megabytes per second. So this is one third the speed of this one. And I've found that Ugreen is a pretty good company. So is Anchor and Bicol, that's uh, if I'm saying that right. So now here's two different ones by Ugreen, okay? This is a bigger one, this is a little one. They both have the big and the little slot. This one also has uh, an older uh, version in here. But this one downloads a couple megabytes per second slower than this one, even though it's the same company. Same thing here. Here's a, uh, where is it? Here's a Bicol, and they, they have, the newer ones have both uh, the older USB and the newer uh, USB 3. Even though these are both Bicol, uh, this one downloads faster than this one, uh, about three to four megabytes per second faster. So even by the same company, uh, they there is a difference with what they do. So here's a chart you can see from the different ones, the different speeds and stuff. Most of them, like I said, around 88, 89. I'll post uh, my, my results in below. Now, obviously I can't review all card readers out there. I mean, there's millions of them. It's I'm not gonna waste my time with that, but I just want you to know that if, you're think, if you think your thing's not downloading fast enough, it might be your card reader. Also, the USB slots that are available at the front or top of the computer are usually slower than the ones in the back of the computer. And even in the back of the computer, some of them are faster than other ones. Like the ones at the top are usually faster than the ones that are lower or vice versa. So take a few minutes to check. USB-C is supposed to be faster than the, the older USB, but with the card reader, <laughs> there really isn't that much difference. I mean, it, it's you'd think there would be, but there really isn't. So anyway, I know this isn't flashy stuff. It's not big, important, it's not $3,000 camera comparison, but you know, this is the stuff we all deal with, right? This is everyday stuff that we all deal with on a daily basis. And if I could shave a few minutes off your life to make things go quicker, I'll do that. So there you go. Marcus, Mr. Practical, telling you things that, you know, would help be helpful to know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.